Hello, friend. Now we've moved on to the 30th gate as we move around the um, rave mandala. The gate of feelings, the clinging fire. So the 30th gate, as you see here, sits in the solar plex. The wave, um, the wave energy that lies in this um, 4130, in that whole channel, but it also resides in this gate, is this wave that peaks and crashes with the expectations of the outcome of an experience. So in, in, my, in my experience, I have this 30th gate, it's hanging in an open center. And hmm, the not self has wanted to have expectations. So um, more so in my 20s, when I would have an experience, there would be this expectation of what the outcome was going to be of, an, of the experience. And what I've learned is that, you know, the 30th gate is all about the gate of the fates. So the faith that teach us that life is not what we expect it to be, it is what we allow it to be. And, you know, as I, as I aged, I just kind of let go of those expectations. And then when human design bumped into me and I saw that this 30th gate, you know, was saying, just surrender. Just surrender and know that what is needed to be brought to you, not something that I want, but the experience that I need in order to be um, on my evolutionary path, they're going to show up. And it's not always what I expect it to be. Not ever, actually, is it what I expect it to be. So um, I also listen to... Um, Abraham, who is channeled through Esther Hicks. And one of his big things that he says through Esther is, instead of setting yourself up for a disappointment at the end of an experience because there's been expectation, move in and through life with anticipation as to what is going to happen next. You know, this 41st gate that's pointing up and, and fueling the, the experiential way, it's all about desires and fantasies. And, you know, it's just to have that anticipatory energy instead of setting yourself up for an expectation and then a failure. And that's why this wave peaks and crashes because there's an expectation. So it peaks up. And then poof, it crashes and it peaks up and poof, it crashes. So that is something that was really interesting for me to um, blend into my understanding of the human design system. So there's always a hunger here in this 30th gate that yearns for different life experiences. You know, what are the next experiences that we get to have? So of course, like I say, on the other end of the of the channel is that for gate 41 that desire that fuel to desire that meets the fates and brings us to the anticipation of the next experience and the not self piece of this you know again surrender to what is and the nervousness does not have to have you chasing the fantasy so don't be chasing after fantasies don't be chasing after desires have the desire, feel the desire, mm, you know? So maybe you want to experience um, skiing in the mountains in Banff, Alberta. Maybe that's a, a desire that you have. So instead of chasing after it and trying to... Um, hmm, try to scramble around kind of like how I look at it as having blinders on and, and running after and chasing just that one thing. Just open up and surrender to where you are, where you are in the moment. Have that desire, feel the desire in your cells, bring that emotion in, the exhilaration of it, the anticipation of it. You know, 
going down the slopes and feeling, um, you know, your body moving back and forth um, with those skis, feel the power, feel the wind on your face, feel that experience. And then just let, you know, the powers that be, those fates bring that to you. And and it's probably not going to look like what you thought it was going to look like. You know, in your mind, you're trying to create all of this. Okay, well, blah, blah, blah. We'll drive down. We'll do this. We'll do that. And then all of a sudden, um, there is a something that comes on your news feed, on your Facebook news feed. And it's uh, a group from the town that you're living in. And they are all... Um, they want to see how many people would be interested in, in renting a bus on a particular weekend. And, you know, the bus, the accommodations, the, the pass to the, to the skiing, and maybe a, a really nice meal at a restaurant, whatever, becomes a package. And they want to know how many people are interested in that. And you're like, hey, wow. You know, and you put your name in, you let them know you're interested and they get enough people interested and they can fill the bus and you go. Not anything like what you saw it to be. You know, you pictured yourself driving there, staying in such and such a hotel, blah, 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 because you were doing all this research and looking. And then all of a sudden this completely different, um, this look, the completely different look shows up because the fates bring that to you. So it's about surrendering. And it's not about um, it's not about pushing up against um, life. It's about surrendering to life. And that's probably going to bring a lot of people to the point of goals and intentions. And there'll, there'll be a video about that. So again, if anything in human design um, initiates you, there's a response. You feel invited to to know more about. Um, the system, definitely give me a call um, or email me and we can see if we resonate. And if you want to work with me as a coach, um, as, a, as someone who, you know, loves human design and has passion about it, and uh, we can move forward. All right. Thank you.